Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Amul Chindai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is genetically modified crop. A genetically modified or transgenic crop is a plant that has a novel combination of genetic material obtained through the use of modern biotechnology. Okay, so here in genetically modified crop or transgenic crop or genetic engineering use of the modern technology is there. Okay, so let me explain you in the detailed way what is mean by the genetically modified crop. For example, a genetically modified crop can contain a gene that has been artificially inserted instead of the plant acquiring it through the pollination. So you know that the pollination is the natural process. Okay, so when the plant acquire that gene through the natural process of the pollination, then it is not the genetically modified crop. Correct? It's the original crop. But once, like we transfer the gene of one plant or any species to any crop then it is called as a genetically modified crop that is what the genetically modified crops definition or genetic engineering definition now the resulting plant we call it as a genetically modified okay although in reality all crops have been genetically modified from their original wild state by domestication selection and control breeding over a long period of time so it is saying that all crops are genetically modified crop because of their domestication, their selection and we control their breeding. That's why it is genetically modified. But here the exclusive definition of the genetically modified crop is different, which is we are like see, seeing now. OK, so genetically modified crop here. You need to understand that genetically modified crop means when we transfer or when we insert the gene artificially in another plant then it is called as a genetically modified crop or it's a genetic engineering okay it can be happened in the microorganisms or in the organisms okay so it will be genetically modified organisms will be there okay so here we can see in this image that this is the gene which is like inserted in this plant so what happened this plant get the resistant okay or it produces the toxin which kill the pest so in this like in this image you can see that okay it is like this pest is eating this crop and once the gene is inserted in this plant then this pest will automatically get die okay because it will produce the toxin now here are some advantages of the genetically modified crop higher crop yield like 30 to 40 percent higher crop yield okay 30 to 40 percent higher crop yield we can see there reduced farm cost it will reduce the farm cost it will increase the farm profit okay it will increase the farm profit as well and improvement in the health and the environment so these are some of the advantages of the genetically modified crop now higher crop yield why higher crop yield is necessary because India is growing population it need to cater the needs of this population that's why we need higher crop yield and how it is reduced the farm cost because once weed is there then we like use the pesticides or herbicides in our farm so what happened this weed gate vanishes the genetically modified crop has a resistance to these herbicides okay herbicides or pesticides we can say that so it has a resistance to that herbicide and it will not get vanishes from your like it will not get affected okay weed only get affected and it will get vanishes it will increase the farm profit obviously if it is like producing 30 to 40 percent more crop then it means it will automatically increase the farm profit improvement in the health and the environment okay it is from the uh, ministry's website that is it will improve the health and the environment okay and there is an example from the canada i will like tell you that example in next slides so let's take the another advantages like example of Canada here Canada deployed this technology in 1996 in rapeseed a close relative of mustard so here I wanted to say that Canada deployed deployed means Canada started this technology in 1996 in rapeseed a close relative of mustard and is global export of quality rapeseeds oil under the brand name of canola so canola is very famous okay India is also importing this rapeseed oil okay it is like similar to a relative of mustard so India is also importing this so India's dependence on this edible oil import will be reduced if India is using the genetically modified crops okay India need to increase the productivity to cater the need of the growing population as I already told you that 
why India needed this technology because India need to increase its productivity to cater the need of the growing population the population is growing okay and what are the disadvantages of the genetically modified crops okay so you need to understand here that is genetic engineering the technology of the genetic engineering engineering is evolving okay it is not like uh, we are not expert in the genetically engineering technology so there are some experiments need to be done on these genetically modified crops the next point is here because uh, the still the scientists are anonymous the result of the genetically modified crops the next point is here when the genetically modified crop produces the toxin and if the pest in the farm field will evolve the resistance to these toxins and also there is a possibility if the genetically modified crop is producing the toxin in the same way it is like harming the pest it will also or harming the good microorganisms in the field so that is also one possibility and next introducing the allergens and other anti nutrition okay so in in unintentionally it may happen that we are like using the genetically modified crops it means that we are introducing the allergens and anti nutritions in the farm field in the like human food chain okay so this is the possibility because gen i already told you that genetic engineering or the technology of the genetic engineering is evolving in india okay so there are not lot ex uh, experiments on this the next point is that bt cotton yield okay bt cotton is introduced first time in the india as a genetically modified crop it has a good results okay but the yield increases initially and now there are like punjab in the area of punjab we see that the yield reduces drastically okay so it means that initially the cotton yield was bt cotton yield was like increased like two times but nowadays it is like decreasing so we need to understand this phenomenon we need, need to understand this process of this bt cotton yield but the mustard experiments done privately it is opaque okay if the genetically modified crops we know that genetically modified crops has a potential to damage the environment has a potential to damage the human chain then that should not be that should not be confid confidential okay that should be like there should be like participation of the public there should be the participation of the agriculture expert should be there it is need to be transparent the next disadvantages it will impact the health of the people environment soil and also if the genetically modified crops are producing the toxins they may get contaminated with the groundwater okay so that is also a reason behind that that that's why the supreme court has not like not yet given the nod to this genetically modified crop of the mustard okay and the results of this like health on the people environment uh, soil groundwater is not yet known to the scientist as well so that's why that is also a reason behind that that so general uh, sc has not given the nod to it then gec need to be transparent body gec is the politically influenced body right now okay so what is the gec i will tell you the long form of that after some time then next is a signatory to cartagena protocol public participation in the decision making okay so india need to understand this first that is india signed a cartagena protocol and in that cartagena protocol they also signed this that is the public participation in the decision making is compulsory okay and there should be the strong liability laws there should be the strong liability laws means if this genetically modified crop of mustard or this genetically modified crop somewhere goes wrong it will spread in uh, like all farms then who is responsible to it okay so there should be the strong liability laws to it the next direct attack on women involved in mustard crop weeding so those women who goes to the field cut the weed there so it is a direct attack on the woman who like used to work in the farm okay the next one here here are some like who approves the genetically modified crop so there is a there is a one committee that is genetically engineering appraisal committee who like approves this okay genetically modified crop so what additional points can be added so here 98% of the genetically modified cultivation falls under the four main crops like soybean maize cotton canola okay so 98% of the genetically modified cultivation falls under the four main crops that is soybean maize then cotton and canola canola that is like it is most mostly from the canada then labeling should be made mandatory so 
what is the consumer purchasing they should know about it that's why the labeling should be made mandatory the next the biotechnology regulatory authority india bill it was introduced in the parliament 2013 which provided like multi level scientific assessment and appellate tribunal has lapsed so this bill has lapsed so there is no like a strong regulatory authority there okay so strong regulatory authority should be established the next bt cotton is the only gm crop permitted to use in the indian farms right now only bt cotton is the only genetically modified crop which is permitted to use in the indian farms the next point is here what will be the conclusion if your conclusion is positive in this regard then you should write this as brunal said okay so agriculture is a state subject and center need to concern the state government or take the views of the state government on this issue okay india is signatory to the cartagena protocol and we have developed the robust framework under the environmental protection act for genetically modified species so okay so this point can be added in your like conclusion gac has given the given the positive report in case of gm mustard okay they already given like uh, the positive report in case of genetically modified bt cotton okay and india need to be self sufficient in terms of like the, their oil seed production okay india imports like 12 billion dollar on oil seed only okay so that's why the self sufficiency is required so this is the positive points what if you negatively conclude it so there should be this statement that experts concern over yield claims and biosafety as the genetically modified crops has a potential to harm the people has a potential to harm the environment so there is a concern of the experts there is a concern of scientist on the biosafety and the second thing is that yield claims it will like produce the more yield 30 to 40% or not that is also a yield claim or that is also the problems which are facing by the experts okay and here the last statement is that as india signs the cartagena protocol this breach should not be introduced due diligence now what is mean by the due diligence okay so these are like high words from the the hindu paper so due diligence is the reasonable steps need to be taken to avoid the problems okay so india has signed the cartagena protocol this breach should be introduced with the reasonable steps reasonable steps need to be taken okay that this thing will not mess up in the future so this is the conclusion negative conclusion so thanks for watching this video guys if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button have a nice day i love you all